Now um, we, we come to the thorax of the horse and in terms of the thorax um, we need to be familiar with the um, area of lung auscultation um, line of polluter reflection, basal border of the lung, and the projection of, of the heart. Okay. In the horse, there are 18, 18 ribs, which means there are 18 thoracic vertebrae. This is rib number one, number two, number three, and all the way to rib number 18. Okay. This is the lung. This is the diaphragm. Now, the basal border of the lung, which demarcate the codoventral aspect for lung auscultation, extends from rib number six to rib number 11 to rib number 16. In the embalmed horse, the lung will shrink a little bit. That's why at this level here, okay, the lung is at the level of the 14th. But in the actual life horse, the lung extends all the way to the uh, 16th rib. So the basal border of the lung, it is 6, 11, and 16. And this line is very important because it demarcates the codoventral boundary for lung auscultation. So if you want to listen to the lung sounds, you have to go cranium dorsal to that line. Now, lung auscultation is done in a triangle. We call it auscultation triangle. The cranial boundary for that triangle is the lateral head of the triceps muscle. It is covering this area here. The dorsal aspect is the back muscle. And the caudal ventral aspect, okay, to finish that triangle, is the basal border of the lung, which extends from rib number six to rib number 11 to rib number 16. So the triangle is like this. Okay, we will see the projection in the, uh, in the live animal. So for instance, if I put the skin back, If I put the skin back, so the triangle is going to be from 6 to the 16, okay, the lateral border of the back muscle, and the caudal aspect of, of the triceps. So it will going to be around this area here. Okay. Also, at the level of the third and the fourth intercostal spaces, okay, I want to draw your attention to the cardiac notch. And here, okay, because this is the pericardium. So you can get access to the heart through here. And at this level here, low, at the third or the fourth intercostal space, you can listen to the right atrioventricular valve of the, of the horse. Okay. Now, another important structure, okay, is the line of polluter reflection. And this line, it goes from the level of the sevens and eight, and it go all the way to the last rib, okay? which, is, which is this here. And this is where the polluter reflect from coastal pallura to become diaphragmatic pallura on the, on the diaphragm. So the reflection of this Pallura is the line of pallura reflection. It extends from the level of rib number seven and eight, and it go all the back to the last rib. The importance of this line is that if you insert the needle cranial, cranial to this line of pallura reflection, you are in the pallura cavity. If you insert the needle caudal to this line of pallura reflection, you are in the peritoneal cavity. So. Bear that in mind. Now, the area or the space in between the basal 
border of the land, which is 611, 16, and the line of pallura reflection, this is space here. Okay. This represents the costal diaphragmatic recess. And the costal diaphragmatic recess, this is an area that you can utilize for thoracocentesis in equine. Okay, so bear that in mind. That is the this space is in between the line of pleural reflection and the basal border of the line. Also, while we are at, at the right, when we go to the abdomen, you will realize that the liver extends from the thoracic case all the way to the abdomen. Actually, most of it is within the thoracic case. Now, how can we do liver biopsy in horses? Usually, you draw a line against the point of the shoulder, okay, to the olecranon, and you go from the olecranon of the elbow, okay, all the way to the uh, to the tuber coxae, okay. And when you go in between these two at the level of the 12 to the 14 intercostal space, okay, that is where you can feel the, the liver on the right side of the horse. So bear that in mind, you do liver biopsy on the right side of the, of the horse. Another structure uh, I want to draw your attention to, um, it is the superficial thoracic vein, which is the spare vein. This huge vein down here, you can see it over here. Okay, this is the superficial thoracic vein or the spare vein, and sometimes you can utilize that for uh, venipuncture uh, as well. It's huge and it is large in the, um, in the equine. 